So this time I'm going to angle slightly this way, still pouring in the middle. Heavy water. All right. About a five degree angle, I would say. And I would anticipate that would make a counterclockwise rotation. So let me just add a few pepper flakes. You can see the rotations there already. Obviously, it's going to go counterclockwise. Take this out vertically. Counterclockwise. So this time I'm just going to angle it slightly this direction, as so little as possible. It doesn't take very much. And pour it in, very slightly angled to the right, which will be your left. Which will create the vortex. And... You can see it's actually creating two, but the larger vortex is on this side. So the net result, I think, is going to be a clockwise uh, rotation. Let's see. Ah, looks like this vortex actually overwhelmed it. Need to do a steeper angle. Interesting. So if you pour it more in the middle, you create these two vortices. So that was kind of interesting in the last experiment. I found that if I did it too straight, it creates these two vortices which interact with each other and one of them ends up uh, decaying and the other one becomes more dominant or they cancel each other out. They'll both decay eventually. Uh, so you need to have a certain amount of angle to be able to get this vortex large enough to overcome the power of this vortex. Same thing in that direction it works. You saw in the first video that I had an angle of about, I don't know, maybe 10, 5 to 10 degrees in this direction. So I'm just going to do the same in this direction. All right, here we go. Okay. Push it in that direction. And let's add our contrast material, which is some red pepper flakes. And now we see we still have a little bit of stillness over here, but we have a larger vortex which has taken over the whole thing. We could let this uh, settle down for a while, I think. You can see there's actually a counter rotating vortex over here, but the larger vortex is over here. And of course, if I pull the plug out now, it's going to give me the clockwise spiral down, which is uh, you know, what you'd expect. So that's the trick. You just need to have a sufficient tilt in the, the direction that you want it to go about that much or about that much, which is exactly what we see in the videos. So I'm going to pull this out now and show the clockwise vortex going down the drain. There we go. Spinning away clockwise.